Man, Twitter this morning, right, Chuck? I know. This is ridiculous. It was no. just crazy. I, I love it. I'm, I'm going to go get a snack. Screw this. All right, hey, grab me, grab me some at the vending machine. All right. All right, Chuck's gone. This is awesome. I have some incredible news to tell you about World Maker Fair and Joseph Prusa and the new Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer. Now that Chuck's gone and out of the room, I can talk to you about this really awesome thing called the Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer. Joseph's going to be debuting this at World Maker Fair this weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, today and tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. If you're coming to the Maker Fair, definitely go to Joseph Prusa's booth and just look at it because it is Awesome, I have this list of stuff that Joe has sent me that I'm not allowed to talk about until Saturday. But now that it's Saturday, I get to talk all about it. So the improvements over the Mark II S, it's got a magnetic PEI powder-coated spring steel sheet. And so you can actually remove the build plate and flex it a little bit to get your parts off. I know this is one of the things that I always wanted on my Prusa machine. Finally, we've got it. Silent triaminic drivers with 256 micro stepping. So this is going to hopefully eliminate any of the artifacts that we get from stepper drivers and micro stepping. It's, uh, it remains to be seen, but it will be awesome. Detection and recovery of shifted layers. So I believe what Joe and his team have done is they measure the voltage of the stepper drivers and if, if something isn't going right, uh, they're able to stop the print or pause the print or, or recover the print. Sensorless homing for X and Y. So there's no more X end stop and there's no more Y end stop. It's sensorless homing. That'll be really fun to see in person. Improved frame rigidity with aluminum extrusions. So the frame underneath the bed that you see, it used to be a bunch of threaded rod attached together with some 3D printed parts. That's no more. It is aluminum extrusions that is attaching everything together. So it's going to be a lot more rigid. But the build volume on the Z is, or Z if you want to call it that, has been increased by five millimeters to 205 millimeters. It's just a, it's just a little bit, but hey, all the improvements, uh, it's kind of cool. Power loss detection and recovery. So you have the ability now while printing on your Prusa i3 Mark III to pull the plug or to have a power loss scenario and it has enough power left in the capacitors to write everything it needs to to the memory of the board. Once you're able to power it back up, you can then resume printing. Awesome. This new Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer also makes it really easy to add OctoPrint because you can take a Raspberry Pi Zero and just plug it right into the board. The i3 Mark III also has the Bontech extruder gear, so there is not a chance your filament is ever going to slip. And because the Bontech grips from both sides, you're going to be able to consistently push filament through without any issues. He does say automatic loading of filament when filament is inserted, and I, I don't know exactly what that means, but it, it could be a sensor sensing the filament, or it could be some way of holding the filament until you hit the button on the screen and, and load it. Uh, that's yet to be seen, but uh, I, I, again, you'll see it at Maker Faire today and tomorrow. Detection of jammed extruders and the ability to pause the print. So if your extruder is pushing filament and for some reason it jams and it starts clicking or something isn't right, the printer will detect that and stop your print to uh, ensure that you're not wasting filament, you're not damaging your printer. Uh, it's, it's the best case scenario for this. Both the extruder cooling fan and the print cooling fan can detect the RPM. So if for some reason the fan gets blocked, the printer will stop because it knows that if one of those fans fails, it could result in printer damage. In fact, on my raised 3 dn 2 Plus, I remember when I had a, a, a print that started to fail and part of the filament got caught in the fan, the fan ended up not being able to cool the fins and I had some massive heat creep and a giant blocked uh, hot end. So this would prevent that. And I really like this ability in this printer to be able to detect the RPMs because if you have a fan failure, you could have a printer failure. This will save your printer. Prusa i3 Mark III, from what Joe and his team have told me, it just seems to be a step in the right direction. It looks very similar, if not the same, to the Mark II S, but there's so many improvements made on a technical level. It's really going to be interesting to see how well it performs. The Prusa Mark III is only gonna be $50 more than the Mark II S kit, so it's gonna be $749, but the Mark II S kit now gets a price drop, $100 less, it's gonna be $599. It's a really exciting time to be in the 3D printing community, and it's a really exciting time to see what Joe and his team have been able to do at Prusa Research. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these machines. Oh crap, oh crap, that's Chuck. That's Chuck, be cool, be cool. What you doing? Nothing. Hey, what's that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs>